Hello, friends. How are you today? So you made it. You made it to the other side of the holidays, and we are now in 2024. But as you reflect back on what's happened in the last few weeks slash month, there are probably opportunities where there was some friction. And one thing that I advise my clients is that if ever there was an opportunity for you to feel friction, it's with your family during the holidays. And because most of the time, you know, professionally, we put on the good face and we do all the stuff that we're supposed to do. But personally, you're with the people that know you best. And quite honestly, our guards are down a little bit. So when we have friction, and that is sometimes that friction is tough, that is more apparent when we are in those stress-filled environments, lots of things to do. Oftentimes we're not eating the right way, the way that we normally eat. And then you add family dynamics to the mix and it's a recipe, it's a gumbo for uh, for disaster, basically. And so one thing that I advise my clients when I'm doing Clifton Strengths related coaching is really paying attention to that friction and then really trying to identify which of my strengths is this bumping up against? Because almost always it's more about you than it is about them. And it's figuring out what do I need to throttle back or what do I need to pay attention to? So then that way I can get myself to the other side with the least amount of damage to this relationship as I possibly can. Now, I'm from South Louisiana. And so I loved going, I love going back. I love being around family, all the stuff. But at some point, it gets to be a lot. I have high intellection. It is in my top 10. And so for those of you who don't know what the intellection strength is from a Clifton Strength standpoint, we like quiet. We like to go away and soak and have that quiet time, that thought provoking aspect of things where we can just process. There is an introvertness, at least it is for me aspect of my intellection. And while not everyone that I know in Louisiana has taken the assessment, I can, you know, as doing this for a while, I can kind of start to spot some of the strengths that are there. And many of the people that are in my life um, from a family aspect of things have what Clifton Strengths calls woo communication. They communicate a lot. And, or at least a lot for me, for my intellection aspect of things and process out loud. And so that processing out loud really rubs up against my intellection. And about three, four days in to a six day journey, it was overwhelming. So I got overwhelmed to this space that much like I'm telling you about, I stepped back and I thought, which strength is this rubbing up against? And it was totally intellection for me. And then figuring out what do I need to do to make this better and really identifying I needed to just get out the house, one, and make sure that I was getting some of that quiet time. But then the second aspect of things was really realizing that for those folks that process out loud, you don't have to respond to everything that they say. It's really more about their thinking out loud and you don't have to respond to everything, every idea, every concept, all the stuff, right? That's a really freeing aspect of things. And it really helped me in terms of knowing and guarding my own space, guarding my own mouth, not to say things. Look, we all do it, right? We all have those opportunities, those friction opportunities. It's what are you going to do with them? And are you owning your own part in that process? So those are concepts that I work on with my clients when I coach all the time. If you have any questions about that or really anything else you want to chat, just give me a call or let me know. I'll see you soon. Take good care. Happy New Year.